Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at inserting a sublist onto a form using Lightning Forms. Now, the purpose of this is so that we can have a one-to-many type relationship with inside SharePoint list forms. And one of the reasons for doing that is if you perhaps want to uh, have many detailed items inside the same form and not have to go to uh, two different uh, lists in order to collect that information. So an example would be if you had a, an expense reporting system where we have header information such as uh, who is the person claiming the expenses, who's the manager signing off those expenses, what's the expense report date, etc. All of these fields would be filled out just once, whereas you want the actual expenses, the expense items, uh, to be filled out many times and related to that. And uh, of course, we could create a lookup column, but you still have to go to two different lists in order to um, complete that information using SharePoint out of the box. So what we're going to do here is take a expense items list. So as we uh, go here, you can see I've got the, uh, the title, the category, which uh, there's just a few different categories of expenses, the value, the tax and the total. Um, so rather than having to complete this multiple times on the uh, on, on a separate list, what we're going to do is just go through and embed it here on our uh, main context list. So uh, as I scroll down to add a sublist, we just click into the add button and scroll down to the uh, lists and library section. And in here you can see the expense items list. So I'm just going to uh, select that expense items list. So that's embedded onto the form here. And uh, we can choose the view that we want to uh, select. So in this case, I've only got one view, but we, uh, we could choose the view if we have multiple views. And if we want to actually show this as sub items, we can select the option to use as a sub, sub item. And that does require a lookup column, but if you haven't got a lookup column, which I don't have in this case, we can have Lightning Forms generate it. So I just click onto that plus icon. It's going to create a lookup column called lookup to contacts, which of course we could customize the name of that. Uh, and as we choose add, that's created that lookup column for me. So the other things I've got is how do we want to complete new items so we can select which is going to be our new form or which one's going to be our edit form and a few other options as well in here, such as uh, do we want to show a command bar, show search, show headers, and what's the header text going to be? So as we uh, OK that, we've got the embedded expense items. So let's once again save this form. So that has been saved now, and we'll navigate to the site contacts. And we'll create a new item again. And in here, as well as being able to fill out the main details, the address details, and the comments. Uh, so let's put in uh, another colleague of mine. So we've got the, uh, the details here. And we can now start to add the expense item. So uh, we can create an expense item. Notice it opens up the form. Uh, so this could be uh, a flight to USA. So we choose travel, we can put in the value, the tax, the total, etc., and uh, and save that. And that becomes now an expense item that is associated with the main expense report. So uh, as we choose save on that, once again, that's going to uh, perform the routine behind our save button. And what we can see here as we navigate to the site contents and go into the expense items, we now have that one uh, item recorded that is associated with Zoe's expense report. So the other thing that we might also want to do on there is some calculations, working with our uh, sublist. So as I navigate to the contacts list once more, once more, uh, what I'm going to do here is just simply add a new column, which uh, is a currency, and we'll call this total or total claim. And I'm going to go through and launch the customization dialog again. Uh, so we can customize the new form. And what we can do is insert that column 
onto the form. So as we, uh, we scroll down here, we have the total claim. And as I launch the uh, expression configuration for that, we have the calculated parameter. And we can scroll down to the sublist section, take that expense item sublist, and we want to take the total field from that, which is sum. So we can uh, calculate all of the items from that sublist and store that calculated value inside the master list against the total claim. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Many thanks.